Okay, perfect. Today I'm actually going to daven, pray the morning prayers called Shacharis. I'm going to show you how it's done. Every bar mitzvah boy, every boy, Jewish boy that's 13 and on, puts on tefillin phylacteries. These are biblical commandments. These are leather boxes in which parchments, in which written by a scribe, specific passages from the Torah. Enough with that. I put on a jacket because it's respect. We don't just go to even the president without a jacket. This is the gartel. It separates the bottom, the lower parts of our body, and the upper parts. We're reserving our hearts and minds to God. This is not only a physical separation, we're also a spiritual separation. We're now going to devote our hearts, our emotions, and our thoughts, and our ego completely to God. This is the talis. This is the talit gadol or tzitzit gadol. It's almost like wrapping ourselves in a godly cloud. The tzitzit are all four corners. Each knot and each way it's tied is specific, mystical, explained. There are reasons for everything. In Yiddishkeit and Judaism in general, nothing is by chance or coincidence. Everything is meaningful and important, as life should be. Even happiness and being excited about everything is, is important. I digress. Okay, Talis. I grab the four corners, I put my left hand over my heart, and the right bundle, whoops, and we don't hit the chandelier, go like this, I say a special prayer on my other. And I now am ready to fold over the talus in our traditional way, which is the Hasidic way. We make sure that it is covering the shoulders. shoulders. You don't want to make it too thin. Make sure that the knots I can see all four corners. Okay, perfect. I'm ready to put on the first pair of tefillin. Interesting, we put on two pairs of tefillin. Many Jews put on one pair of tefillin. That is fantastic. We are just going a little bit over and beyond covering all uh, grounds because there's a slight interpretation from one Torah scholar credible authority that says we should do it this way and another great of almost equal Credible authority says, do it this way. Most say it's fine to have one pair of tefillin called Rashi tefillin, under which Rashi is one of the greatest Torah authorities, actually the number one translator or um, interpreter or accepted uh, explanation of the five books of Moses of the original text. Every phrase, there is an explanation of exactly that pasuk, and that is by Rashi, uh, 12th century, uh, France. We'll talk about that another time. We put on the hand to fill in first, called the shell yad. I am a righty, so I put it on my left hand, and a lefty would put it on their right hand. There's a special knot over here that's mystically designed and knotted, and that is like the Hebrew letter Yud, and it is pointed towards the heart. I make a Hebrew letter Shin. Before I do that, I make the blessing by covering it.
can then finish off the shell yad procedure, the shell yad hand. Now, the tefillin of the shell rosh is divided into four compartments. Inside, if we were to open up these one piece of leather, one piece of leather has four compartments in which four different scrolls, parchment written by a scribe, meticulously, meticulously, God's name, and it's in a special order. This is the shelyah that should be between the eyes. As it says in the Bible, they should be a sign between your eyes. You shall bind them on your arm, and there shall be a sign in between your eyes. This is something that Moses was doing. It's amazing to be able to pray in the same way that Moses was praying. Over 3,300 years ago, Jews are doing this every single day. This is one of the most Jewish things you can do, is to put on tefillin, even for just 15 to 20 seconds, just to say a special prayer. Binding. Then we open up this Siddur, the prayer book. Very interesting. This prayer book over here, this is called Tehillat Hashem, the prayers of the name. Hashem is referred to God. Hashem in Hebrew just means the name because God is beyond any human logic or understanding. Our connection to him is only a present that God gave to us the ability to connect with him. I digress again. So the name, the creator, the designer, the master of the universe, the name Hashem, prayers of Hashem. And here we have a siddur with English translation, the traditional Hebrew text that the rabbis have put together over thousands and thousands of years. And we're still praying the same, pretty much the same way. There's just differences, minor differences between Sephardic and Ashkenazic and many different Hasidic texts. But you can always uh, add certain prayers as long as they don't uh, contradict. Um, but that's for a whole other video. Yeah. Um, there are different prayer books that have a trans- there are different prayer books that have a transliteration, meaning you can say the words in Hebrew, but you're reading English. Very nice. I'm going to start with certain praises from Hashem. Wrapped in the cloud of glory, wrapped in the talus, cover over our head. Fall down a little bit. But it is there. Oh, you do, Ladina Kiru, Vishimoi, Yulo, Am, Aliloisa. Just a side note this bag is really, really beautiful. This is a velvet.